Hey guys, how's it going? So today I'm going to teach you a song by a super cool band from Utah called The Aces. And I heard this band yesterday and I've listened to the whole album and I love them. They have some cool, really cool guitar riffs and yeah, I think they're my new favorite band. So this song is called Stuck. I'll show you the lead riff at the start and I'll show you the chords and rhythm throughout. And check out the acoustic version of this song on line and you'll be able to see the timing and everything and listen to all the harmonies and yeah so I'll go to a close-up and show you how to play it. Okay so the first part of the song it starts with this riff and I'll play it really slowly so you can hear. Okay and it just repeats around like that so a little bit faster. Okay, and the trick with this is your first finger is not going to leave this string, it's going to stay on the D string throughout. So your first finger for the first shape is going to go on the seventh box of the D string. Okay, and your third finger is going to go on the ninth box of the G string. So that's the fourth string up and the third string. And you play those together so it's a little bit of finger picking. So you can use your thumb and first finger. And then you slide this shape down two boxes. Okay, so now your first finger's on box number 9, your third finger's on box number 11. Okay, and then you're going to bring your first finger back to where it started, and now you're going to use your pinky. So first finger is on box number 7 of the D string, and your pinky is on box number 10 of the B string. Okay, again you can use your thumb and first finger. Or thumb and second finger, whatever you want. Okay, and you play this one and you slide it down two boxes again. So it's four shapes. Okay, and then the last little bit of the first part, your first finger is going to go back to where it started, box number seven. Third finger is going to play box number nine of the little E string, so that's the bottom string. Okay, so that whole thing. Okay, one more time. Yeah, and then the second part of this, you go back to the first shape, so box number seven on the D string, box number nine on the G string. And you play the first two shapes, so play that one and then slide down two boxes, so box number 9 on the D string, box number 11 on the G. And then you keep your first finger where it is on box number 9 of the D string. Move your third finger so it's on box number 10 of the B string. So that first little bit. And then the last shape, you move your first finger back to where it was on the seventh box of the D string. And then use your second finger to play the seventh box of the little E string. So that second part of the riff. Yeah, it doesn't matter if you use your second or third finger here. The trick is keeping your first finger on this string. It's just sliding back and forth. So I'll play the whole riff for you. Okay, and it just, that's what it plays in the chorus as well. Okay, right, and then while that's playing, the chord starts. So the chord you have, you have an E major chord. Okay, so first finger on the first box of the third string up, the G string. Okay, and then second finger goes on the second box of the A, and the third finger goes on the second box of the D string. Okay, the next chord you need is an F sharp minor bar chord. So you're going to bar the second fret. We're going to use the bony bit of your finger here. Okay, it goes really close to the fret wire, so that's the metal bit. And then you put your third finger on box number four of the A string and pinky on box number four of the D string. If you can't do that, you can cheat a little bit. So keep your third finger and pinky where it is. 
move your first finger so it's playing the bottom three strings. Or, if you want, if you want to change it up a little bit, you can just play first finger on the G string and you have this cool F sharp minor nine-ish. <laughs> okay, so you got E, F sharp minor bar chord, or you can play any variation and then D. In the video, she plays a D bar chord down here. So if you know how to do that, it's bar in the bottom five strings on the fifth box. And then your third finger plays the D, G and B on the seventh. Or you can, if you do it that way, you can, okay? So the three chords, E, F sharp, minor, and D. I'm gonna play it like this just for ease and just so if you're a beginner, you can play it a lot easier. Okay, in the rhythm, I'll play it through for you. So you're going to start with this, down, up, down, okay, so it's quick down, up, down, and you go down, down, up, down, okay, same for the next chord, quick down, up, down, okay, so E chord, then go to your F sharp minor. Same thing, quick down up down. You can do this while you're changing from chords. So down, down, up, down. You're quick. Three, and then you go down, down, up, down. And when you get to the D chord, quick, down up, down, 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 up, down, 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 up, down. Okay, so I'll play it through it really slowly. So E. So you just listen to the song, you'll be able to get it. I've shown you a super basic version of it. You can add in strums, you can take them away. As long as you're following the beat, then it sh should sound great. And then once, well you play that for the intro, you play it for the chorus, then you're gonna use some bar chords for the verse. So it's gonna sound. these bar chords in different places. So I'll show you one way and then show you the alternatives as well. So you're going to start with a D power chord. Okay, so your first finger is going to go string number five all the way down to box number five. Okay, and then your third finger is going to go on box number seven of the D string, so that's the fourth string. Okay, and you're going to play those two strings. If you're a little bit more advanced, you'll be able to use your pinky first finger to mute the strings you don't need. But not to worry, you can just play those two strings. And the rhythm got dun 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 Okay. And what you're doing after each strum you're loosening your fingers. You're not taking them off, you're just relaxing them. And practice doing that and it just stops the sound. Okay, and you can use, slide it down two boxes to do kind of like a passing transitioning chord between the next ones. So you go. And then you're going to go to box number nine. So stay, stay on the same one. You can, so it's fret number 11 on the A string and, no, fret number nine on the A string, fret number 11 on the D string. Okay, and this is the F sharp minor bar chord, well F sharp bar chord. 
So you start with your D bar chord, my power chord. Then you go to an A power chord. So it's on big E string now, so box number five of the big E string, and then box number seven of the A string. And same rhythm, so bam, 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 bam. Okay, so. go back to this F sharp power chord on box number 9 and box number 11. And that's what it does throughout the whole verse. So I'll show you some different places you can play those chords. The first one, your D, that can stay in the same place. And then you can go to this F sharp here. So it's on the second fret of the big E string and the fourth fret of the A string. And this one's pretty cool because you can take your finger off to get this open E. So it sounds like... Okay, and you can... So I'll play it slowly. And you go to A. Back to F sharp. Last little bit, if you're changing from the F sharp to the A, you can use this 4th fret G sharp power chord to kind of help you on your way. So, dun, 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 okay, and that's what it does in the bus. So, I hope you like that song. It's really fun to play, it's got some cool skills and techniques that'll help you in other genres of music and other songs. So, if you like what I do, please subscribe, like, tell all your friends, comment. And I will see you in the next video. Bye now.